Fred Curley running a 9.76 in the semifinals and then a 9.77 in the finals and beginning off this meet with a 9.83 in the 100 meter prelims. So uh, Fred Curley, once again, goes on a tear during this USA Championship. So he drops three times that are sub 9.9, nine, uh, three times that would have been the world leads at the time. So 9.83, then 9.76, then 9.77. Those three times would have been the world leads going into this meet. Uh, and so he just is showing extraordinary consistency when it matters the most. And he is really developing his speed and showing that, no, he is not just that 400 meter runner trying to do the 100, he has legitimate 100 meter speeds. Uh, he beats Marvin Bracey, who equals his PR with a time of 985, and then beats Trayvon Brumell, who was the world's fastest man last year, the man to beat in many people's eyes this year with a 988. And so uh, Fred Curley is, is performing great right now when you're going into the world championships, which is just three weeks away. So it's like, man, what's going to happen up here? Are we going to see a sub nine, seven? I mean, like, let's take a look at the consistency that Marvin, not Marvin, that Fred Curley has had. This is the consistency that, that he's had. So since the Olympics, he has run sub 10 in 13 out of 14 races. And then since the Olympics, he has run sub nine, nine in six of those races. So a little under half of his races that he ran sub 10, he has ran sub 99. And then three of those races, he has run sub 98. So he is doing an extraordinary job here, uh, putting together good races when it matters the most. And so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next. I mean, the trend looks like, okay, looks like you're probably going to be popping a 9.6 here soon because you've, you've done the these two fast times. And everyone knows in order to have that one pop off, you need to be consistent at that time right underneath it. So, hey, you want to run sub 10 for the first time? You got to run a lot of, of, of 10 ones, 10 twos, and then that sub 10 is going to pop. Uh, we saw that here with Elijah Hall. He comes in fifth place, but he ran a 9-9, a big PR for him. First time under first time under 10. Uh, and he had ran 10 10 0s, 10 1s, you know, 10 0 9s, whatever, a lot very consistently. And then now he pops that 9-9. Uh, I also just feel really, really good for him. I mean, he he drops his PR and uh, he definitely was going through a lot of emotions, most likely, you know, with his friend and training partner, you know, passing away uh, with, uh, you know, Bramel. And so having him kind of live on uh, with his legacy there and, and, and continuing and running a really fast time coming in fifth, uh, something that he definitely had to be had to be really proud of. Uh, for sure. So uh, that was my next uh, favorite thing. We're going to be talking about my picks for the 100 or the 4x1 soon. So we're not going to be talking about that now. Next week, we're going to be talking about picks for the 4x1 and picks for the 4x4. So if you're looking for all of that info, we're going to talk about that later.